Hi everyone, how are you doing? Thank you as always for popping by. I'd like to know what you think of this story. Now apparently our chaps, the J-dubs, have um, had problems with homeless people. You can see there on your screen they've had safety concerns as they've encountered homeless residents. So let's have a look at this story in detail. So it's from the US News and it's from Rochester and that's Rochester, Minnesota from earlier this year. So their mayor, Kim Norton and other officials discuss concerns raised by business owners about homeless residents occupying the city's skyways right so here we have a picture of sadly people having to find somewhere to to rest for the night see someone's got the sleeping bags sleeping bag and things around and there's someone at the end of the corridor there in a wheelchair bundled up so uh that the the problems that 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 happens. You see so many people now who are who are obviously disabled, who are homeless. Um, you see people, and this is you know just what's visible, let alone what you can't see. You see a lot of people around who um, are suffering mentally, with mental health problems, and they're homeless. It's a terrible problem, and these people aren't other. These people are us. So they've got the. Um, caption for that photo two people begin to gather their belongings after sleeping the night in the skyway by the first street parking ramp and double tree hotel in rochester minnesota several people sleep in this area nightly i'm sure they do it because it's a huge big laugh um if anyone does come from there it'd be interesting uh what your personal experience is but we have here i don't know if i'm going to say the, the name right but svar vinjay wants to make sure the increased number of homeless people in rochester skyways doesn't discourage visitors now why is there an increased number of homeless people hmm. we're trying to identify ways to curb the amount of people who are causing distress and safety concerns for our Mayo Clinic visitors and our patients and our customers, said the owner of Knight's Chamber in the Shops at University Square. So they're causing distress. I think it's far more distressing to be homeless, but... On a recent Friday morning, he met with Rochester Mayor Kim Norton and others to discuss concerns raised by downtown business owners, as well as a specific group of visitors. So it's not just the business owners, but a specific group of visitors. And here we go. I have a close personal relationship with the Jehovah Witnesses, and they reached out to me, Vinji said. He said he's received emails from Jehovah Witnesses who attended a recent meeting at Mayo Civic Centre and cited safety concerns as they encountered <gasps> homeless residents in the Skyway and shops at University Square. Vinji told the Post Bulletin he's encouraged that changes are possible after talking with the mayor and other city officials. Of oh, course, there are going to be shelters and rehabilitation schemes. It was a very good discussion, he said. We're attempting to identify the legal boundaries of what constraints the city has and does not have. And also what issues we are having with the people downtown. So the legal boundaries of what really how they can put boundaries around the homeless people. That's really like saying. Norton agreed that the meeting went well, noting it was just one of a series of discussions she's had in recent months from two public session sessions to small informal meetings like the one with Vinjay. It was an important conversation to have, Norton said, of the recent meeting. She said it was as important for city officials to hear the concerns of business owners as it was for members of the business community to learn efforts were being made to address concerns. Well, I mean, it's fine to talk to the local businesses about so what's needed, but what, um, I wonder what the solutions. They probably need a range of solutions. Rochester Police Chief Jim Franklin, who was part of the discussion, said, such communication is key to finding solutions. It was a great opportunity to see the issue through another lens, he said. Noting the police department is seeking opportunities to increase patrols downtown. So what do you do if you have homeless people? Increase the police. 
At the same time, he's noticed that as long as no laws are being broken, thank you, people have the right to be in the public skyways at any time of day. Therein lies the frustration. Someone can legally sleep in the skyway as long as they're not hindering traffic, Linji said, noting he's witnessed homeless residents doing more than simply being in public spaces, citing concerns about harassment, aggressive panhandling and drug use. Franklin told the business owners and others to call his department if they witness illegal activity. Kathleen Harrington, executive director of the Rochester Area Chamber of Commerce, said it was an important message to hear adding that she plans to work with Franklin and City Attorney Jason Luce to coordinate him efforts to inform downtown business owners and employees about who to call and when. So big the solutions they're talking here are all the um, the legal and enforcement ones. She said she hopes doing so will address some of the fears surrounding the issue. When people don't understand what they can do, that increases the fear, she said. During a February meeting held by Norton, Harrington said she believes many chamber members would support efforts to work with the city and county to address the homelessness issue. Uh, Rochester City Council member Nick Campion said the goal must be to find a holistic approach interesting that addresses the many concerns about homelessness okay that sounds a bit more online for every facet people can envision a solution he said but noted all potential solutions would not have the best outcome as well as we will have a variety of people who are homeless they're going to need a variety of solutions and and leg ups he said he's willing to consider options as they are presented to the council but the city must be careful we really need to look at the state of the law and what the city can do, he said, noting ethical and moral considerations almost, also must be part of the discussion. So someone's said that side of things, the ethical and moral. Norton said she continues to meet with people to discuss concerns and look for potential solutions. Here we go again, Vinjay said, that's good to hear. And she plans to send the message to his contacts with the Jehovah Witnesses. Um, if there is still going to be panhandling and there is still going to be people in the skyway, I want to make the Jehovah Witnesses know before they get here that we realise this is an issue. And we are addressing this. We want them to know we're just not we're not just ignoring this or encouraging this. So, um, well, I, I I mean I presume as the um, the, the the charity, the non-tax paying charity that the many that have come under Jehovah Witnesses and. Um, the story of the Good Samaritan, etc., etc., that they will be um, helping the homeless people, providing food. I'm sure the Jehovah Witnesses will be down doing that. Um, just going and talking, um, opening up drug rehabilitation centres, uh, many things. So, um, yeah, so I'm sure they'll be doing that. And they won't just be complaining that they have to actually walk past them and um, and get requests for, for money, etc. I'm sure um, they won't just be doing that, will they? Because obviously things like that, which I I encounter, not, not where I actually um, live in my town, but if I'm going outside that and further, then sadly there's a common sight, and treating people as human beings is the best start. And if you haven't got money to give, smile and hello and how you're doing is fine and I've never had any problems so there you go what do you think what do you think I just feel sad when I when I see things like this I feel very sad thanks for your time watching uh, please leave your comments below as always I, I do appreciate them you take care and bye for now